My favourite cocktail is Dirty Gin Martini. The Sensible Travel Magazine was actually hilarious. Like, the art department brought it out the day we shot it, and it was actually just really funny. Because, I don't know if anybody actually paid this much attention, but Tucker has a massive fear of water. And somebody in art department had sat down and written out why you should be, why water is your friend. <laughs> it was just really funny. Uh, and I was actually genuinely really having a bit of a chuckle. Uh, and funnily enough, um, that Sensible Chuckle magazine is gone. It disappeared from art department and we've lost the, di the original digital file, so it will never be seen again. It's actually quite sad, but it's kind of nice that it lives only just for that moment and in many thousands of gifts all over Tumblr. <laughs> Thank you, internet. <laughs> it will never die. <laughs> I would say dog, but probably by the time this video comes out, that will be very passe. I do love dog. When we were shooting that uh, staring competition from season one, classic David Ashby, we do his, his angle, I'm there, you know, doing as you should, giving, even though I'm not on camera, I'm there. We flip around for my shot, David's there doing it, and he's like, unbuttoning his shirt the whole way down, and just opening it up and playing with his nipples right in front of me, and I'm just trying to hold my gaze. And I did, because I'm a professional. <laughs> I love working with Aldo because he's so, he's great with his impromptu, hilarity and he's always just so loose and easy and fun and brings huge amount of energy, energy to set. Natasha is kind of unlike anyone I've ever met before, very similar to Ilsa and is just like an amazing performer and so focused and like kind of quite surprising, will always go for what she wants. And Amanda is just, I kind of, you know, there's that crush that kind of, there's an attraction there that was found I guess through casting so I've always kind of loved being on set with Amanda which is, you know, beautiful. Uh, and then there's David, who might be my favourite to work with on set because he's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. He'll ruin every shot <laughs> just to get a laugh. Really got into like the Melbourne underground theatre scene where it's some ridiculous shows, <laughs> really ridiculous shows. I performed um, in, a in an underground car park in a housing commission for a show called Little Mercy which was ridiculous, but actually went on to be very popular. Um, uh, so like I kind of started out doing the Melbourne uh, theatre scene and then um, kind of, it kind of put me in good stead because I'm so used to doing, you know, unpaid shitty theatre that when I kind of, ever I get on set, I'm so thrilled that there's catering and I'm so thrilled that like, I've ever got a costume that I haven't had to bring myself. <laughs> it kind of, I always feel very lucky whenever I'm employed in a professional film or TV production because I can't believe how lucky I am. <laughs> Season two is just much bigger. Uh, we, um, we had more than five dollars to make it, which is good. Um, I, I think it's probably a lot more developed. I think season one, we followed a bit more of a simpler formula, mission, fulfill mission, outcome. Uh, whereas this time we kind of have a bit more of a long form traveling through each episode. So, uh, quite different, but crazy, crazy. But for me, he's a lot funnier, way funnier. Um, like he gets all the good lines. Probably would have to be something at the wedding. Um, I love the wedding, all that wedding stuff, playing the, um, piano at the wedding was really great, like that was such a big set, that big set up that day, like the dry ice, the drama. I found it really funny, it was really good. I probably, probably the wedding was all great. I'll, I'll use all of this if it's funny. It's fine, do what you want to me. <laughs> but but uh, we did speak about whether, you know, it'd be full nude or partially nude. And I was happy with um, whatever they wanted, but I don't think they really, wanted to up the rating for this. <laughs> it was, I was really nervous though the first day fully nude. Like I just had um, what's called a modesty sock, which is just a little, um, a little flesh colored 
curtain, <laughs> so to speak. It kind of goes over everything. And I was very nervous, but everybody was so great about it. Like, you know, close set, nobody was there, and it was all fine. And, and then I was all really relaxed about it. So then when the second big nude scene came around, I was just like, yeah, anyone can come in. Little did I know, I was going to be flailing around in a kiddie pool being sprayed with a hose. <laughs> Woo! See it all. I am, I can say with some confidence that I will probably never work on a show that anything like Danger 5, in Australia at least anyway. It's kind of sad to say that, but very, uh, like, it, they've taken a massive risk doing a show like this. Like, it could have been shit. And for all I know it is, but people are just telling me to my face. <laughs> but no, it's just so creative and, you know, so outside the box. Like, I don't think that there will be many other Australian shows like this. Unless, of course, people want to copy. Good luck. No. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, I, well, do I have any projects after this? Yeah, I'm off to LA, like, every actor for pilot season, so we'll see what comes up out of that. Um, there'll, be, there'll be plenty of stuff on the horizon for a face like this. <laughs> well there. <laughs>